Helium 10 Black Box. The first tool out of our toolbox for product research and arguably the most important. There are millions of Amazon products, but how do you find the one that will actually make you money? The answer is Black Box. Again, I've got a link in the description to save you up to 20% on Helium 10, so please make sure you're not paying full price. Don't tell them I said that. I've personally coached over 100 brand owners since 2020 and worked with dozens of clients one-on-one, -on -one, so we've seen what works and what doesn't. My taste in products is the same as my taste in women. I know what's hot. Shout out to my wife, Taylor. Love you. First, open up Blackbox and head to the products tab. By default, you might be on the simple view. We're not simple like everyone else, so toggle to advanced. This is where you'll set filters to narrow down on millions of products selling on Amazon. Category and subcategory. This is where you be you. I'm a firm believer that choosing a niche or category that you know something about, are passionate about, and better yet, have a deep understanding of the customers in that niche will give you a significant advantage over your competitors. This is exactly Exactly why our own brand is doing over $1 million per year. We are the ideal customer. Click the drop downs and select all the categories or even better subcategories that you'd be interested in building a brand around. For this example, I'll pick golf. Review count. Min, zero, max, 1,000. Honestly, reviews don't really matter as much anymore. I've seen my students enter fairly competitive markets and crush it. In fact, I've got a lot of student interviews on my channel and podcasts that you can listen to. Now, if I skip a box, that means you can leave it blank to start. Fulfillment, FBA and FBM. This means other people like us sell the product, not Amazon. It can be tough to compete with Amazon owned brands, so we tend to avoid those. Let's jump all the way over to sales. For price range, avoid the standard $20 to $50 that everyone uses. I used to preach this a lot back in 2020, but times have changed and so should we. Instead, try $15 to $35 or $40 to $80 for less competitive options. Set parent level revenue to a minimum of $5,000. This basically means we only want to see products selling at least $5,000 a month. We'll leave the rest blank for now, start wide, narrow later. Meaning let's try for a lot of results and then we can fine tune our filters. Let's hit search here. Okay, we've got 500 items, maybe more, but Helium shows you a limit of 500 because they know if there's more than 500, you won't bother looking through them all anyway. My goal is 100 products or less. Let's fine tune our filters. Shipping size, standard options. If this is your first product, I'd recommend not messing around with oversized stuff. Higher shipping costs, higher storage costs, potentially higher manufacturing costs. Now, if you're an existing seller looking to expand, filtering the opposite only for oversized can be a huge gold mine for the reason I just stated. It's not optimal for new sellers, so less competition. Price range, here's something to consider. Lower prices, 15 to $35, will have far more competition. Think about it. There's hundreds of other people just like you out there right now looking for a product to sell on Amazon. 95% of them probably have a small budget, say $10,000 or less. These people likely are hunting for products that they can get made for three to $5 overseas and sell on Amazon for 20 to $30. There's lower startup costs, less risk, but way more competition. If you have a lower budget, that's fine. Play where you can. There's still a ton of room if you're good enough, but I'm gonna put 40 to $80. Parent level revenue, let's bump that up now to $10,000. Apply. Ooh, we're narrowing our list. Let's fine tune. Review count down to 750 max. Apply. Better. Let's bump the revenue and fine tune our price range. $12,500 and let's go 40 to $60 for price. Less than 100 products, bingo. This gives us a short list of products that we can actually spend the time to look through every one. But Andy, every one? Yes, every one. Remember, the magic, magic is, is in, in the, the details. details. A lot of good options here, but which ones are worth considering? We're gonna work our way down this list, and if the product answers the following questions with yes, we check the box. Can I customize this product somehow? Would someone care to watch a social media video about this product? Does this product solve a pain? Is there no big brand dominance? That last question was kind of weird because I want all the answers to be yes, but I'm essentially asking if there are any big household brand names dominating the market. We don't want that if we can help it. If the product you're looking at passes the question test, check the box, and when you're done with all of the products in the list, click add to my list. Now the criteria my internal team uses to determine whether or not a product is a good viable idea is a bit more in depth than the four questions I just showed you. So if you want that list, there's a link below in the description that you can get it for free. Just please don't share it with anyone else. This is only for my top supporters. All right, we've narrowed down our list to some solid products. The next step is to analyze these specific products who could very well end up being our core competitors. In this next video, we'll use Cerebro to open up the curtain to see exactly how all these different products are getting their sales 
so we can replicate it easily. Click somewhere up here to watch the next video and let's keep it going.